Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and another quick tip. And today to talk a little bit about a recovery software. Now you guys know me, I do prefer to have backup solutions. But I know even with backups, sometimes we have accidents and only afterwards we will look into solutions to get our lost files back. There are two kinds of software that I do test intensively, one of which is in terms of backup solutions, not only hardware, but also software and also recovery, because it's something that in the past happened to me and as always, I try to prevent happening to others. Now, the one that I'm testing right now is the iMyPhone Any Recovery, and in my opinion, it's a very elegant solution in terms of tool. Now, it's available for Mac OS and Windows. I'm testing out on Mac OS and I'll show you guys a few images there regarding the features and so on and so forth so that you have an idea. But just for example, we can uh, try to recover from a partition lost, for example, or simply a deleted files uh, recovery. And one thing that it's funny without being funny at the same time is when we have that trash bin, we press the right button and then empty trash. And afterwards, a few seconds, we say, oh, I had one file there that I actually required. So this software also has that option right over there. Lost partitions, formatted hard drives, and so on and so forth. So guys, there is a bunch of scenarios that we can use it, including a total fail. Now, regarding this software and having in mind that we haven't lost our SSD or our hard drive, we just lost the data that was inside and a bunch of tests that I made. The most interesting one was to format completely a hard drive. And in this particular case, I was using an SSD and what I did was to place a few files and I just wanted photos and videos to make things simpler. And to be honest, these things that I use on a daily basis. So what I did was to copy 10 files to the SSD, uh, in this particular case, eight photos and two videos. And then I did format the hard drive. And while I was playing, because I could lose all those files, I did format the uh, SSD quite a few times. But when I did select the option to recover files and we can select the files that we want. If we only want photos or if we only want videos, we can do that. If we want a kind of file, then we can so that it doesn't bring too much trash because it will. And the result was really nice because I did start with the simple sweep. And after a few minutes, I did press the stop button and it just gave me an option to enter the deep sweep so that it could find more files and in a couple of minutes it was finding a lot a lot of files and if you take a look at some images what happens is that i didn't finish the old test i just pressed stop because i did that before i was recording the screen and it did work really nice so i did press stop and what happens is that it found a lot of files and guys all i wanted was to get 10 files out of all those files found and one thing is really important is that the files were there with the maximum resolution the videos also worked uh, well so everything was intact even after formatting the ssd and it even recovered files that i didn't i don't remember the last time that i used it but probably a few months or a few years ago because there were files that were quite old. I didn't need them, I just wanted those 10 files, but it was nice to see that the software was able to get that kind of files that theoretically were deleted a long, long time ago. Now, this makes me wonder something else is when you guys or me, we pick a SSD and, or a full computer and just put it on a pin. And yes, we did format the hard drive, but with this kind of software, we have to be aware that someone else can get access to data that we thought that we deleted a long time ago. But hopefully this software will help you to solve your issue and get your data back. And if it does, don't forget that usual thumbs up. As always, my name is Roberto George and I'll see you guys on the next one.